Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the Missouri Tigers and the Arizona Wildcats. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Wildcats should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the cues are as follows. First, get the ball on the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Second of all, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. And lastly, play your game on defense. Let your defense dictate their offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. And up. Well, Dick, that didn't take very long. I tell you, they're quick out of the game, baby. Pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> Puts it up, looking for contact. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up, fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Now trying to feed the low block with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Nap is emotionally pumped up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Buried it. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. There they come with a double team to stop it. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Five second goal approaching. The ball goes out of play. comes defensively on him on the low block. It's a three-quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries for two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Shannon pounded on his way up. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They're allowing no fast break baskets. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Let's see the replay on that one. Great anticipation defensively.
He's got an open look for the shot. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Trying to feed the low block. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They go into the low block. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He shoots from long range. It's good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Nice high post screen. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Nick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. For two, perfectly executed. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Number 54, pump fakes. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post run. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And his shot rejected. That's good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Down inside, good fake. With the jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they leave the layoffs. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Two, perfectly executed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. It appears as though it'll be an easy two here. On the outside. Outside jumper. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Arm and foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That's eight on answer. <laughs> he 
gave it up. The frustration right there. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. That's a 10 zip run. floor. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Hard foul. Next still the first half, when you get the NCAA tournament game, you don't want to play like this because you could get blown out. I'll tell you, it's only one game. That's what makes the NCAA so special. It's one game, one bad night, and the party's over. How many times we've seen that mid-major shop the big club because they come to play right from the start. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. Working around the arc. Number 54 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. He goes to the line. First shot, good. Them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBN. Turns it over. Gets the pass. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. On the top of the circle. Nice shot. Take a look at this. He makes the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Coming inside. The power forward with the ball. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. That was nice. Up and 
inside. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Nick, are we witnessing the beginning of a blowout here? We are. Things don't change in a hurry. Launches away. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Picked out of the air. The power forward takes the feed. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the ball. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Basketball got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Gave it up. Puts up the tray. Drains the shot. Lobs it inside. He intercepts it. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Arizona are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He is going to the line. First one, good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He unloads a three. He hits the shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now 
they work it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground deck. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Turnover. Pushes it up. Length of the floor. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. On the outside. He wants a three. Way off target. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Up and inside. Got the high pick. Looking for the foul. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. It's good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. On the dribble, gives it up for two and off the mark. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, from way outside, it sticks. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Looks at a three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Opportunity for two for one. Tries one from three-point land. Gets it to go. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Great play to take that to the basket. Shot clock is dead.
Nice pass to the low. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Intercepted. The point guard takes the pass. There he is, strips the ball loose. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Knocks it down. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are trailing by 26. Dick, what do you have as the EA Sports play of the half? How about this shot at the half as time runs out? Deadly, baby. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Arizona shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Dumps it in. Picks off the lazy pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. High post screen. So effective that screen. Goes for the deep one. He nails the bucket. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. He drains the shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Up. Easy one. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tickles a twine. Up it inside. Steals the pass. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. That's a 7 nothing run. Jumps into the defender. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He puts it up, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now the high screen. They work the perimeter. The center receives the ball.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. In the paint. He strips him clean. Fast break possibility coming. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. He comes away with it. They run it up into transition. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. He looks for the bomb. He buries it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Step out on that screener. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. On the outside, with the fake on the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The shooting guard handles the feed. The ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Robs him of the ball. Look at that spacing. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Makes the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Arizona are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter, and the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Here's a double team. Another turnover. And they're not talking about the turnovers either. Gets up to make the block. 
The fake. Hunt handles the pass. Robs him of the ball. Okay, here we go. There was no doubt about that one. The Wildcats lead by 26. Rucker receives the pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He takes it away. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Perfectly executed. The Tigers are down by 28. job defensively goes up for two Dick you think they're gonna stay this high hey it doesn't look like they're slowing down my friend takes it off him here they go into transition this one's turning into a big blowout baby Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And Dick swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they come now on a turnover. There it is, Jam City. That's a 10-0 run. game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes away the pass. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? The perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He takes the shot. Makes the shot. A double team waiting there. He shoots from downtown. He's money with a shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They're working around the perimeter for three. Oh, yes! You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. Look at that spacing. He's got some room. Stolen away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it.
Great defense. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Not, get, not getting enough motion. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. No doubt. That's a 9-0 run. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. coming Brad I think they're trying to make a statement I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vital but not looking that good I'll tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby picks off the lazy pass From downtown, gets it to fall. That's a 14 nothing run. Picks off the lazy pass. Rejects it. The lay -in. On the outside, gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. For the deuce, can't get the shot to go. Fake gets it back out. Wide open for the shot. Tries for two. The Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses from long distance. Here's the three ball. Rims out. He got the dunk to go plus the foul. Hey, I applaud this young man for taking this kind of punishment in the air, Brad. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. the rejection it's 
stolen. They're off into transition. He puts up the three ball. Missouri have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. For two, can't get the shot to drop. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, when you bounce right off the floor. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. For the bucket, he gets that one to fall. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. High post flashes. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. The ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What a motion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Up and inside. In the paint, trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that. Spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Easy two coming here. To work it around the arc. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. High post player flashing. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to put it up. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. We need to see that again, Brad. Gave it up. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Got a man in high post. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tries for two. They still don't score. Lays it up. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
dribble, gives it up. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Green set on the defender. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They work the perimeter. Stolen. Shot clock is dead. Dribble gives it up, moving it around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Steals the ball. going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted but so is his coach. Gets it off in time. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Wildcats is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.